Here's how to cut steel plate using the Victor Journeyman outfit when you're using oxy fuel. Now, the oxy fuel torch has a couple of knobs on it. You obviously have your fuel, in this case, we're using acetylene, and then we have oxygen. What we're gonna do is we are going to open the fuel and then we will light the torch. We'll then adjust the flame until we have, have no soot and no air gap between the tip and the flame. Then we will open the oxygen on the bottom and then adjust it here at the top until we get a good cutting flame. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, first things first, fuel on, sparker, light the torch. We're adjusting the fuel until we have no soot. We don't want to go so far that we have an air gap at the tip. We're going to bring it back slightly. So we just see the center of that tip with a small little cone out of it. I'll open the oxygen all the way at the bottom. Adjust the top oxygen until we have a good cutting flame. What I like to do when I'm checking my cutting flame is when I energize the oxygen, I don't want that flame to change profile at all. If I have the oxygen adjusted incorrectly, I guess you know, the flame changes profile, that means I haven't adjusted it correctly. So I'm gonna tighten it up. All right. Now I'm simply going to hold the torch just above the plate. I'm gonna wait until I see the plate start to melt. You'll see small little jumpers of sparks come off the plate. At that point, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce the oxygen, and that is going to blow the material away. It looks like this. To turn the torch off, you simply turn off the oxygen, turn off the fuel. That's how you cut steel with a journeyman outfit.